What is up, guys? John with Gaming Through the Decades here, and uh, I just got done watching a really awesome video by Magus X1. And Magus went ahead and did an update, um, or a sequel, I guess you could call it, for his the state of his YouTube gaming community. Oh no, drama video, right? Not quite, actually. I guess last year was his drama video, essentially, if you want to call it that, saying that, you know, the YouTube gaming community sucked and it just wasn't very good. And uh, this sequel, if you will, is uh, State of the YouTube Gaming Community, Why It Does Not Suck. And I just want to kind of do a follow-up video. Magus uh, is an awesome dude, an awesome guy. I will say that if it weren't for him, I wouldn't have the subscriber base I have. I wouldn't have the support in the small little niche community we're in. So I do want to go ahead and make a, a video response to his video um, just out of thanks and just to kind of piggyback off what he had to say. And... You know, he talked about a few things, and one of the first things he talked about was how the YouTube community has really kind of expanded over the last five years. I think he's been he's been in YouTube for a while. Um, I want to say five six years, so that's quite a bit of time. You know, in YouTube years, you know, so he's he has seen a lot change over the last few years, over the last five years, and one of those biggest things is. Five years ago when YouTube started, you had a very small community, a very niche community. I'm, I'm sorry if my camera is shaking. I'm in my hotel room, as you can see the, the stupid hangers here. And I've got my tablet set on my uh, little to-go box from the restaurant I had. So if it shakes, I'm sorry. But hey, this isn't some professional you know, setup here. We're just you know gaming through the decades, making an impromptu video. But... So I do apologize in advance. So I'm going to try and keep my arms off the table here. So what did he talk about? The first thing he talked about was the niche communities. Um, when it comes to YouTube now, you have communities within communities. You know, five years ago, it was the, the gaming community. And, you know, you might have had 50 to 100 people that kind of went their own way. You know, if you ever looked at like a multi-level marketing thing, you have like your first 50 people or whatever, it kind of branches out from there. So let's look at it that way. Look at it as like a tree. You know, you had the first few people at the top and maybe these top 10 people, maybe these three people here, they went and they, they did their let's plays. Maybe these two people here, they went ahead and they did the collecting hunting videos. And then the few people over here, maybe they went and started doing their live streams and streaming type content. So everything just kind of branched out from there. And amongst those, some have gotten very large. Some have maybe, um, they kind of stayed where they're at and then fell off. And then you had some, uh, the, some of the bigger guys, maybe in each category, uh, get huge. And then you had a lot of smaller guys. You see like these large, you know, these emu these guys who wanted to emulate these guys, like Angry Video Game Nerd. Uh, how many clones did he have three, four years ago? So you have this um, congested community. So what you see then is, you know, smaller sub-communities. Unfortunately, you can kind of compare it to high school. You had your, your preps and your punks. Well, back in my day, you had your punks because... That was a thing. I don't know if that's still a thing anymore. Um, approaching 31, so I don't know what the, the kids are into these days. But, uh, you know, you had your punks, you had your preps, you know, you had your nerds. So the gaming community is uh, relatively similar to that. You know, you have your Let's Players, you have your live streamers, you have your collectors, and you have your fanboys, you have your Xbox Oneers, you have your PS4s, your Sony guys, your Nintendo guys. And all these people kind of just come to one and, and explode and they argue and they fight. And you know what? Sometimes that is a good thing. You know, I love having, you know, debates. I've debated Magus on a few things. We've just, a few days ago, we talked about certain things and... Um, you know, people getting help with channels, and we kind of had a, 
a disagreement, but it was fun to talk to him about it, and it was kind of fun to 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 poke the you know, to to push each other's buttons here and there. But you know what? It's cool because you know we understand that we have a different viewpoint. So that's going to happen, and there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. But can we come together on the important parts? Can the community come together and say, you know what? In the end, it's about gaming. It's about um, showing people these games. Maybe it's a niche game. Maybe it's a game that no one's heard of before. So maybe we can get this game out there. And maybe, you know, someone who might not have heard of it can hear about it and enjoy this game. So in the end, we can all agree on, is it game related? Are we having fun playing the games? And I think that's what, as long as your primary focus is on, I think you're going to be all right. And um, so you see these pockets of communities that he talked about. Um, and will we all come together all the time? Absolutely not. But we need to understand that. And we need to acknowledge that. And like I said, nothing wrong with that. So what do you have now? You have all these awesome small channels. And it kind of creates a, um, when it comes to the bigger YouTubers, maybe sometimes more and more, you see a us versus them mentality. And a lot of the times what you hear is, uh, well, they're not passionate about the games because... Uh, they're doing it for the money. Um, they're trying to do it full time. They want YouTube to be their primary source of income. So you have these um, these smaller YouTubers who don't care about the money. Maybe they do, but maybe they don't. But they're not getting paid, so that's not why they do it. Um, then you have these larger channels that it's their source of income. So you know sometimes they might feel obligated to put out videos obligated to put out content because oh man it's been a week I haven't put a new video out I need more you know I need more revenue I need more ad revenue it's starting to slow down a little bit so hey what can I talk about quick pick a topic here's our videos so it doesn't come across as passionate as maybe some of these smaller channels do and uh, one of the things Magus did on his rant video was the majority of the video was him talking about smaller channels and he call, you know he shouted out a bunch of channels and I think um, that's what's really going to propel this community and create a better sense of community amongst gamers and not only that but let's admit it guys video responses no longer exist and that used to be a good way to find smaller channels. That doesn't happen anymore. So how do you find smaller channels? I'll tell you what I do. There's a, a, a group of smaller channels. Most of the channels I'm sub to are probably less than 500 subs. So what I do is I, when I watch their videos, I go through their comment section. I go to their channels and I see who's commenting and I check out their channels. And if I like them, I sub to them. And most of the time, these are really good channels that are passionate about gaming, that don't really give a shit about money, they don't give a shit about ad revenue, which is fine if that's what you care about, hey, more power to you. So what Magus did was he shouted these smaller channels out, and I think um, that's something we can do. As smaller channels, don't be afraid to shout out other channels. You know, I you, my videos at least once or twice, I'll mention if it's not a like sort of certified shout out, I'll mention one or two channels. Um, that's how me and Gorilla Gamer became good friends. Uh, I watched a lot of his videos, and he's my first shout out by the way on this video. But we, I watched a lot of his pickups videos, and I knew that he was big into like uh, arcade fishing games. And just so happened in that uh, shot, in that pickup video I was doing, I had picked up a Dreamcast with uh, a Sega fishing game and a, 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 a reel. And I was like, hey man, Gorilla Gamer, check it out. You know, hey, just talking to the community, to other gamers. You know, I'm not doing it for myself. I'm doing it for the community, man. We're just having a good time talking about video games. And you know what? I'll be damned. I had him in the channel about two months later, and now we're doing a podcast together. Just because I wasn't selfish, not to toot my own horn, that, that's not what I'm trying to do, but it's not about me. My channel's not about me. It's about games, dude. Like, I started my channel because I didn't, my wife didn't like to talk about video games. 
you know, I talk about leveling up my, you know, my night or whatever, or getting through an area in Star Tropics 2, and she looks at me like I have a third eye. So, not the brown eye, third eye right here. So, you know, that's why I have a YouTube channel. I like talking about games. So, I'm just going to go ahead and throw out a few channels that I really enjoy. Some of these you might have um, heard before. A couple of them you might not have heard. But, yeah, the first one um, is the Gorilla Gamer. And, man, this dude has so much fun talking about video games. It will make you want to run out and just go look for games. Like... I don't know how this guy picks up so many video games within a month. I mean, his pickup videos, generally, <laughs> I get bored with a video at like 10 minutes, but this dude picks up so much cool stuff, and it's not like a dick swinging contest. Like, he enjoys talking about the game, what he enjoys about the game, other than, this is a Nintendo 64 game here I got. It's really good. I really like it. Got it for $2 at a thrift store. This is a Super NES game that I got. I got it for two bucks. Not bad. It's in good condition. Labels a little turn. But yeah, that's not what he does. He just doesn't go through and like read his grocery list like some YouTubers do. Again, which is fine. Which is fine. I get it. I'm not bashing anybody. But, you know, we like to be entertained when we watch these YouTube videos. And he does his pickups videos. They're very entertaining to watch. And it's cool because it's like, I don't know what's going on in Florida, what they're putting in the water, but this dude grabs some, he gets some good deals. I think he's, I think he's paying people. That's what it is. He's paying people off. That or he's lying. No, I'm just kidding, Will. You're not lying. Uh, but yeah, Will's a good guy. Uh, check his channel out. The Gorilla Gamer. G-U-E-R-I-L-L-A. The Gorilla Gamer. He's also uh, one of my co-hosts on the Cartridge Connection podcast. Again, uh, just just mentioning his name and him messaging me through Facebook. Uh, we've developed a friendship, and oh man, what a what a what a good dude! And he's a guy who just is all about the community. You know, you won't see him get involved in drama or anything like that. Awesome dude. The next one is another co-host. Um, I don't, you know what, actually, you know how I met this guy? And some of these guys I do know, not all of them. The first two I know, so Will and Cliff, uh, Southern Star Gamer, who I'm mentioning now, I know them on a personal level just through talking to them one-on-one. -on -one. But I met Will because, uh, guys, if you aren't a member of any Facebook groups as far as gamers, get involved because, uh, especially if you're a collector, for you collectors out there, get involved in these groups, and I'll tell you why here in a second. Um, Cliff Moore, or AKA the Southern Star Gamer from the great state of Texas, not greater than Arizona. I will go ahead and add that. You guys aren't as conservative as us, so don't let it fool you. I know your tricks. You guys are way more liberal than Arizona. But uh, it's the Wild West out here, baby. But anyways, Southern Star Gamer, man. Uh, I was actually, uh, a few months ago, I was... Um, looking for a, a DS and you know I was seeing them go for 30 or 40 bucks and I just posted a thing on on one of the Facebook groups we're in sorry for shaking that thing again I just posted in one of the Facebook groups we're in like hey man it's 30 bucks for a DS like decent because I wanted a DS and I haven't had one in a while and he's like he just suits me a message he's like dude if you want a DS you know I'll send you one for this much I was like oh well shit that's a much better deal than I'm gonna get anywhere so, you know, him and I talked back and forth, and uh, he sent it out to me. I gave him what he wanted for it, and it was an awesome, fair deal. But, again, he's another collector. I'm a collector. Um, to an extent, I think we're both a little more gamers than collectors. We're gamers first. And he went ahead, and, you know, we just kind of developed a relationship from there. And, again, he's another co-host on um, Cartridge Connection Podcast with me. Uh, but, yes, yeah, Southern Star Gamer. And this guy, you want to talk about a guy who knows his shit when it comes to retro games. I mean, I've been in game stores and I've been like, I've never seen this game before. Hey, dude, what's this game? And he'll like shoot me a message back. Oh, great. It's an action RPG. Came out in 1994, you know, developed by this company. I get it, dude. If, it's, if that's what they're asking for, you need to buy it. And I'm like, okay, cool. Um, so he's done videos, he does pickups videos just about, I would say every week, 
to every other week. And, um, you know, he does some, a lot of, he does a few restoration videos that were really cool. And he did a really cool Famicom video where, um, there was a trick to play. I don't have a Famicom or Super Famicom, but it was a trick to play your Super Famicom games in a Super NES. So he does some really cool niche, old school retro collecting stuff like that. And he's also started a new series, his summer of role playing, which is really good. Um, so I would advise you to check him out, Southern Star Gamer. The next one is one I've shouted out before in a video response to, I forget who it was to, but it was the five nostalgic games. And this is a really good channel. Again, man, you want to talk about a guy who is focused on the community, and that's Teason's Spot. And I'll go ahead and link that below as well, but... Um, he'll do a lot of, uh, he was a big time gamer in the PS2 64 bit era. So you'll see a lot of stuff from there and he does some modern stuff. I think he just started doing a few let's plays, but he does like, um, you know, his top five from his collection. But, uh, another great YouTuber who deserves way more subscribers than he currently has. He's another normal channel. And this isn't someone I know personally. I've never talked to the guy individually or messaged him privately other than like some comment section on YouTube. He's an awesome dude. He's from Australia, which is cool because it's, it's kind of funny to listen to his pickup videos because compared to the States, like, I feel like I'm getting ripped off sometimes. You want to talk about these guys from Australia, man, they got it tough. So if anyone from Australia ever starts a Patreon account to just pay for their games, I will more than gladly support that because those guys got the raw end of the deal down there. So that's Teasing Spot, and um, go ahead and check him out. Another awesome dude who just loves games, man. He's a totally awesome guy. Uh, the next one is Picky Old Gamer. He does a game ramblings. It's kind of like, I don't know if it's a podcast um, I kind of listen to it as a podcast. Uh, he does it with Cyrus Martin, and they talk about gaming news. He's done a few um, games. Um, oh, I can't talk straight right now. He's done a few <clears throat> uh, like reviews of older games, and he also does a lot of uh, news updates as far as like gaming news and stuff like that, like NX updates, four point five updates and you can tell he really does his research on these and you know most youtubers and most um gaming youtubers they'll just google an article you know it could have been written by joe schmo out of his shed in idaho and they'll repost it reposting his news picky old gamer doesn't do that um he he just like uh jay-z checks everything i forget he does like a source thing He'll probably comment below. I, I think he watches my videos. But um, he checks his sources. He makes sure they're from legit sources. But um, that's a great... I, I'm not really big into gaming news channels, but that's a great gaming news channel. If you're going to subscribe to one, it would be Picky Old Gamer. So I will go ahead and link him below. And the last channel I want to talk about, and I'm trying to keep this under 20 minutes, so I do apologize is um, a channel I just found, and Magus X one um, mentioned it in his video as well, and I'm going to mention it in mine because, man, this this dude, he, he generates some good discussion, man. I mean, uh, wow. The first, um, his name is Awesome Stuff HD, Harry Delta, so HD as in high def, so Awesome Stuff HD, but... Uh, the first video I watched was his, Are Older Games Dated? And man, what a discussion. I mean, you would think like just from the title of that video, well, if you're a retro gamer, well, yeah, they're outdated, but how? And he goes into um, the new versus old mentality. And, you know, he got he hit on a few points as to, you know, what makes a, a game good. You know, is it graphics? He talked about kind of where gaming is headed, where as to where it used to be. But man, you want to talk about some awesome discussion and some just awesome topics, dude. This guy should make a podcast or something. Like I don't say that often, but the guy can can definitely uh, create some good discussion. He also did one on a game I recently picked up on Final Fantasy VIII of how it was the worst game in the series. And again, he. It's not a bashing thing. Like he actually did list what he liked about the game, 
but he was very critical as saying, hey, I like the Final Fantasy series. Of course, every game is going to have its worst one. Here's why I think this is the worst one. So awesome channels, guys. Um, keep it going, please. Man, I love all your content. And I just thank you for everyone who subscribed to me. And um, like Magus, I'm going to kind of encourage everybody, all you smaller channels, even, hey, you know what? I want to see the top channels do this. You know what? Let's put this, uh, let's get a challenge out to those big channels, to those 20K subs, 30K subs, 100 subs, 250 sub channels. Why don't, let, let's see them shout out some smaller guys. Let's see them shout out some, you know, some channel with 100 subs, you know, but yeah, that man, you want to talk about a way that would grow the community? Dude, that would be awesome. That, not to get on a rant or anything real quick here, but I think sometimes these these bigger channels know that they can call out a channel or they can shout out a channel and they hold the power of, I can shout you out, here are 5,000 subs. But how awesome would it be for these bigger channels to just go ahead and do this? So I'm going to make a challenge right here in my video that if you are a channel over 10,000 subs, I want to see you call out five channels that are less than 100 subs. So I'm going to put my challenge out to those guys if they care if they see it if they give a damn if they give a shit about this community prove it right now let's see what you guys got hey let's build this gaming community up and you know i just want to thank magus for the uh, shout out on his video and all you guys down below man if you want to you know, all my subscribers everyone i'm listed um let's keep it going guys so i want to hear who 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 you guys who your channels are who you think are just building this community so until the next video guys um, I'm gonna try and get some more retro reviews in I'm actually looking for a, uh, a music stand to prop my tablet up so I can film my my TV as I play some retro games so maybe some more retro reviews coming um, that's it guys I'm over 20 minutes so I will see you on the next video